quest for a homegrown vaccine is tonight over. The trial terminated after participants falsely tested positive for HIV. Scientists at the University of Queensland are devastated, but accept public confidence in the vaccine process is paramount. We have led the world in taming the virus, but in the battle to beat it forever, today we were forced to concede defeat. It's certainly a tough day for the, for the team. The University of Queensland's mission to find a vaccine, in the end, scuttled by community fear. And that's part of, or a big component of why uh, we are pulling out now. Several of the 200 participants in the trial returned blood tests that showed that they were HIV positive when they weren't. No one was at risk. The shadow of the Grim Reaper looms large. But now we know every one of us could be devastated by it. It was all the evidence would suggest it was going to be an effective vaccine, but we cannot risk public confidence. Scientists used harmless HIV proteins to stabilise the COVID vaccine, but it appears the body started making antibodies for HIV as well, which was providing the false positive results. As soon as they told me about the false positives, I thought, oh, that can't be good. <laughs> I actually couldn't care less about a false positive. That's all it is. It's a false positive. There's no risk to my health. And as the research team in Brisbane stepped aside to applause from colleagues, the Prime Minister and his health outsiders looked to plan B. Of the four vaccines that we did advanced purchases on, two are the, probably the most advanced in terms of phase three data. Drug maker AstraZeneca, with the help of Oxford University, is now our biggest hope. It can be made in Australia by CSL. The government today upped its order to 50 million doses. It's also seeking another 11 million jabs from the US-based Novavax. Pfizer, which has already begun rolling out in the UK, remains our third choice. And as the world eagerly awaits a panacea for this pandemic, the post-mortem has already begun into the University of Queensland's decision to use the HIV virus in its research. An Adelaide vaccine scientist claims his warnings were ignored. In the context of a pandemic where you can't afford to have hiccups, then you know, our feeling was it, it, it was too experimental a technology to be rolled out. If we could go back in time, we could have made changes. Whichever vaccine becomes the silver bullet, it could be rolled out as early as February.